Greetings everyone. This tutorial is designed for students at Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University to analyze data um, dealing with uh, retail, consumption, and the like. The software we are using at the moment is SPSS and following are the topics that we will be discussing today. how to create new variables and in this uh, tutorial we'll be showing you two examples number one is the example dealing with uh, recoding and the other one is to use compute to create a new variable and then in recoding we'll show how one can recode um, one variable into um, itself or in in this particular example into a new variable the use of multiple response sets, what are these and how can they be useful, some basic graphing using Pareto charts, um, missing value analysis and to show what happens if you have missing values in your data set and what can you learn from values that are actually missing in your data set, some outlier analysis if time permits and also weighting cases in an analysis. So. First, we um, would like to mention that uh, the book that we are using is Statistics for Marketing and Consumer Research by Mario Mazzucci, and um, the author is based in Italy, and it's a fantastic book. I like it. It's, it's one of those books that does not have any photographs in it, so you can teach rather than paying for colorful photographs. Uh, there are data that we are using from the um, author, and the data are available at the link that you see on the website. So please click on this link to download the SPSS data files that we will be using for this um, assignment. Missing value analysis. Often respondents do not answer questions about, you know, when we ask for sensitive matters, for instance, um, income, how much do you earn? We really, really don't want to disclose, right? Uh, that's something special, uh, unique about human behavior that we will disclose all the idiotic things that you would like to disclose, but when it comes to income or age or weight, um, we certainly are not willing to uh, disclose. We don't even tell height, disclose height, but you know, it's difficult to hide that. Anyhow, so what happens is that if you ask a question and uh, people do not answer it, or if they are missing values, um, sometimes it may re result in systematic biases and um, there are ways to learn uh, from missing values. So what I will do is basically sh demonstrate in SPSS how one can learn from missing values. We are looking at the other data set uh, which is the EFS data set. Um, um, I have retained only a handful of numbers, variables, and the case ID, um, the weighting variable that I will explain later, and this question about the class of uh, household reference person um, and total consumption expenditure, right? Okay, so let's look at this um, household reference person and what are the values. Um, the way the variable has been coded is basically um, it has coded it as zero if this information wasn't recorded, okay? And then um, the other values are, uh, for instance, large employer, um, and higher managerial positions, we've coded it as one. If it was a higher professional, whatever that means, two. Lower managerial and professionals, three. Intermediate as four. Small employers and own account workers, five. Lower, su lower supervisory and technical staff as six. Semi-routine as seven. Um, routine jobs as eight. Um, never worked and long-term unemployed, nine. And ten as students, right? and 11 uh, is occupation not stated and 12 is not classifiable for other reasons. Now first of all there are 12 categories um, actually 13 if you include 0 and those categories are demonstrating one thing um, number one 0 stands for not recorded this probably is an error on part of the surveyor uh, forgot to ask or um, forgot to list and the other categories are listed from 1 to 12 in no particular order. So it's a categorical variable, not an ordinal variable. That is, 1 is not greater than 2 and 2 is not necessarily greater than 11. And the two missing values are occupation not stated. So the people ask, what is your occupation? And the person said, I don't want to tell you. 
um, and um, if the person said something, well, I am uh, uh, something, and uh, well, is there self-employed here? I think I saw self-employed. Uh, intermediate small employers, main routine, and reverse in law. No, I don't see self-employed. But let's say if the person is self-employed, and you cannot categorize them as it has been stated above. Anyhow, so these are this is how the data are, and then in SPSS, I. I can state the missing values as 0, 11, and 12. This is what I've said. It doesn't necessarily have to be these three. You can have more missing values. You can actually specify the range. In this case, we just have three, 0, 11, and 12. 0 being we forgot to record. 11 and 12, either they didn't tell us what to do, and 12, uh, we couldn't categorize it. Cancel. Good. So the data are here. Uh, you know, very interesting, nothing special. Uh, here you go. Okay, so first of all, let's see. Um, I will do this. Um, uh, let's do some s uh, basic statistics. I'll use analyze reports case summaries. Do not display cases, and I would like to use this variable, the class of household, and then to find the total average consumption. And I would like to have number of cases as well as means. Continue. Okay, bingo. And the answer is here. You can see it's not very well formatted. Okay. Oops, that's not what I wanted. I just wanted to uh, a little bit more. Here we go. Now it's a little better, right? Okay. So um, you look at the data set. There are 327 observations. 65% are included. 173 are excluded. Why? Because we don't have information on them. So they're missing. So anytime SPSS saw either 0, 11, or 12, um, um, it excluded those, right? So there are about 173 observations that are not included. And for those for which we do not have missing value information, we have this v table here. So 327, 327. And you could see that the large employers and higher managerials are spending 655, higher professional 643. And then the results are indicating that the numbers change as information becomes, um, as people are buying from jobs, going from jobs, their consumption of dollars, large employers, higher managerial. Okay, that's accepted. Now, you don't see any 0, 11, or 12. That is not stated in 11 and 12. I'm going to go back. In the variable view, which is um, right here, and instead of saying missing, remember the 0, 11, and 12, no missing. Okay. And the command is, and this time the command is done, but you can see that all 500 missing. Right? Last time we had 327. This time we have got only 500. What did we do? Um, oh, very interesting. We get a different number. First, first of all, um, occupation not stated. Um, uh, four people did not state their um, their um, average consumption was five hundred dollars. Okay. Uh, total consumption expenditure doesn't say dollars or pounds uh, the data from are from England and uh, let's call it pounds you know not losing money on this okay so um, and those who did not state their occupation are spending decent amount of money only after these two categories but a large number of people whose jobs could not be categorized and that's 169 people um, their um, average spending was 236 pounds on um, weekly or monthly consumption, whatever that is, which shows that there is um, some interesting uh, phenomena happening here.